Good morning guys, welcome to Wednesday's FRT Gold live video, hope you're all doing well. Um, the week seems to be flying by once again, I'm already Wednesday and you know after today so we really start looking um, ahead to the weekend but before that really a decent day actually taking place today, I think there's actually a listed race from Salisbury meaning that uh, for a Wednesday that's a bit of a treat and a, a decent card no doubt about that. Hopefully we can continue what's been a, a really really good few days actually, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday have been excellent. It was another profitable day yesterday, we'll get to that in just a second, but as I always do, just a reminder that this is a live Q&A session if you did want to join in that, if you've got any questions about any of today's tips or perhaps maybe you're off to the races or there's a, a certain bed that you don't quite understand that you want to explain or maybe there's a, a race that you'd like to look up but um, you haven't quite worked it out and you'd like a bit of help on that, that's absolutely fine, do feel free to get in touch either via this Q&A session, but I know um, not everyone watches it live, plenty of people you do watch it on your lunch breaks or whatever, so then if, you have, if you're have, if you watching this and a question pops in your head, you can always email joe at freeracingtips.co.uk, you can get in touch via Twitter as well, we're on at freeracingtips7, and then it's facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash FRT Gold if you wanted to uh, get involved that way as well, but... Yeah, let's hope for another profitable day like yesterday. Um, it started off a little bit frustrating yesterday. The premium tip was the first race of the day, and that could only actually finish in second. Perhaps um, didn't quite enjoy the soft ground, and, and and did just run into a decent horse um, from Richard Hannon's yard. And uh, yeah, that was a bit frustrating. And you know, you always do wonder that first um, the first bet does always seem to set a tone for the day. I know it doesn't technically make any difference but um, always seems to do that but uh, yeah that was disappointing but then we had a 5-2 to two next best bet winner which was fantastic also a 7-2 to two one point win only single and the little earner managed a second place finish at about um, oh that was at 10-1 to one as well so a good place there meaning that we ended the day I think it was around about 6.5 points in profit which certainly isn't to be moaned at and hopefully we can have another day similar to that today and the premium tip gets back in business but the premium tip have actually been you know really hit form the last couple of weeks or so which is good let's hope to continue that hopefully another winner today and hopefully another really good day so today we race from Beverly, Newton Abbott, Salisbury, Yarmouth and Kempton decent day ahead and our premium tip for today that goes in the 2.30 at Beverly so it's one that hopefully will set the tone again and it's uh, Pamushana currently around about the six to four mark, and I'm saying four points win only on this premium tip. It was actually fifth at Newmarket in similar conditions to what they've got at um, uh, at Newmarket today. So we'll do some good to soft ground and and uh, what they've got at Beverly. Um, yeah, it was fifth at Newmarket in similar kind of conditions last time out, and that form looks really good. Actually, I think uh, Market Rival might have finished second or third in a. Uh, in his last race, but actually uh, this horse um, managed to finish closer when fifth at Newmarket, and that form looks to be really good. Obviously, Newmarket maidens are always pretty strong, and there's been a couple of winners come out of that one, and that form is looking strong as well. And now coming to a track like Beverly, where the class isn't going to be as strong, you wouldn't just think. Um, I think this horse should go really well here, and um, yeah, it might just be the best of these. As I said that form looks looks to be really good, and. Um, Run to Richard Fahey as well, and turn Tony Hamilton's the man on board. Really, really strong connections there, especially at a track like Weatherby. And there's actually one of only two fillies in the race who so actually has a £5 um, allowance for being a filly over the male horse as well, £5 sex allowance there as well, which is... Uh, which could be vital in those in those closing stages, especially at a, a stiff track like Beverly. You know, when horses get tired, that five pound could make all the difference. So, I think that's a good premium tip today. There in the two thirty at Beverly, Pamushana six to four to four point win only bet. The next best bet for today that goes in the eight twenty at Kempton. So a little bit later on this evening, and it's Muradif currently at six to four, but this horse was at two to one when first tipped. So certainly a bit of market support there, which is a positive, and that two to one that I would imagine only gold members got. To be honest, I think when it was then released to uh, to other members about sort of forty five minutes to an hour or so later, the horse would have been at around about seven to four, maybe even at six to four. So I know the tips aren't coming the night before at the moment, but they are coming um they are coming always a good hour or so before they are released to the main members as well. And that can make all the difference in terms of value and this is a prime example. Hopefully you've got that two to one whereas lots of members are only going to be getting that six to four. And of course they don't get the the next best bet either it goes on the lucky fifteen. It's in that but um yeah, when we do tip that lucky 15. So 
That's uh, that's a, a good advantage of being a gold member, getting those tips first. Now, Muradif, one of uh, course and distance last time out, I think you remember it was a premium tip, either last week or perhaps the week before. Um, I see so much racing, it's tough to remember which way when, when they go, but um, had a lot in hand that day, actually. Won fairly comfortably and absolutely bolted up in the end. And a £6 penalty, I don't think it's going to be enough to stop this horse here. Runs for William Haggison and Seb Sanders, and that market support this morning is really, really vital, I think. I think that Haggis is probably expecting the horse to go well. I think has the has the know-how over this course and distance now, which is vital to track like Kempton. I think does suit some course specialists every now and then. It's uh, not the easiest track to read. And, yeah, I think has that course and distance and does look to be a horse that's going to improve all the time. It looks to be good value there, I think, or was good value at, at 2-1. to one. Perhaps you might not want to be lumping on 6-4, to four, but if you could think of that 2-1, to one, then... Uh, then that's good. So that's the next best bet today, 8.20 at Camden, at Muradif, looking to make it two from two. Right, the little earner for today, that goes in the 3.25 at Salisbury, really good card at Salisbury, as I said today, and it's Bowie Boy, currently a 10 to 1 shot. Now this horse was second at Sandown last time out, over this trip of a mile, and it actually takes a little step down in class today, I think that was a class three, and this is a class four, do forgive me if that might be a class four, going into a class five but um yeah it takes a step down in, in class and i think a similar play to that second will certainly be enough to get this horse in the places and it could even be enough to win this one um was withdrawn from windsor on sunday due to the uh, i think it was soft or good to soft ground at least there and so clearly doesn't enjoy that but it's got fast ground today that the horse will want at salisbury runs for rafe beckett who's a trainer that i think is really um underrated, I think pound for pound he's right up there. No Jim Crowley is his stable jockey right now, but he's booked a really good rider in Sylvester D'Souza, and I think these two could strike up a decent pairing in this one. And at 10 to 1, I think Bowie Boy is a little bit overpriced there in that 3.25 at Salisbury. Right, just the one, one point win only single for you today. That goes in the 3 o'clock at Beverly, and it's straight to the point. And that's at five to two. That's been back from three to one this morning. If you did want a lucky fifteen today, if you pop all those together, you'll have potential returns of around about eight hundred and fifty pounds from one pound stakes. And uh, yeah, you know, the lucky fifteen is there if you do want it. It has been producing some decent figures recently, actually. Obviously, on was it on Monday? There wasn't one on Sunday. On Monday, it was around about eighty-three from one pound stakes. Yesterday, it was about twenty-five. But um. Yeah, the, the one point win only singles are also doing well as well. So, yeah, hopefully we can have a really good day once again today. It's been a really good week so far. We don't want it to stop. I um, feel like we're really uh, hitting some form. The week's a profitable one, I'd say, regardless now. But um, we really do want to just build that form and really have some big days of bookie bashing. We want to get that premium tip winning again today after it was a little bit frustrating to finish second yesterday, but feeling good about this one today. Hopefully there's uh, the weather stays true and that we can, you know, it's strange really because at Salisbury you're looking at good to firm ground, at Beverly it's good to soft. That just shows you the difference in, you know, sort of the, the London courses to, compared to the, uh, the ones in Yorkshire and in the north just shows you the weather difference there. And it is always vital to check the, the going before you place any bets of course um you know you might see that it's good to firm ground at Salisbury and presume that it's good to firm everywhere and back a good to firm specialist at Beverly because you think they look really good value they're not they probably don't handle that good to soft ground at all but uh, yeah do always check the going and hopefully uh, the, the ground will start to dry out in, in those northern courses as well because I think you do want to see flat racing on good ground at worst but sometimes on that good to soft you can pick out a bit of a specialist but yeah, that's just about it for today's video. Um, the videos will get busier throughout the week. Uh, so tomorrow and Friday probably we'll start looking ahead to the weekend, really. Um, hopefully William Buick is okay. I don't know if many of you saw his fall at Lingfield yesterday, but it looked awful. But uh, he did get up pretty much straight away, and hopefully he's all right. Obviously a really big few weeks coming up for him with the Ebor and then the St. Ledger where he's likely to ride um, Eagle Top, you would think. So, yeah, let's hope that he's okay and he's not out for too long. I'd imagine he won't be straight don't think he's got any rides today. Um, I will just double check out there, but hope he's all okay. But yeah, other than that, it's uh, it's not quiet on the racing front, but there's no sort of big breaking news to bring you um, 
you know, obviously many, most, a lot of attention is coming to the eBor, and um, I will actually do a video where I am just focusing on the eBor. Perhaps um, next Monday when things are a bit quieter, we'll run through the tips. Then I'll do a longer video looking at some anti post bets, or even just looking ahead to the next day at the eBor. We'll do that as well. But that's all to come next week. But today, let's have another really good one. Let's go bookie bashing again. Thank you for watching today's video, and I'll speak to you all a little bit later on. Thanks, and bye bye.